In excited delirium, you have an individual who's in a delirious state. He's not oriented to reality. He has hallucinations. He can't think straight. And then he begins to wander around. And usually they start becoming violent, not necessarily towards other people, but they'll smash out windows, they'll run through traffic. And so these people are acting bizarrely. And this is a medical emergency. They need to be brought to a hospital. They meet, need to get medications will essentially calm them down. They describe as having superhuman strength. They're, they're, they, they, you can taser them, you can hit them, and it doesn't seem to bother them. They still keep going. You call the police and the police have to restrain them because they're a danger not only to others, but a danger to themselves. They'll go running through traffic, or, you know, running on a highway or something like that. And so the police have to take them to a hospital because that's, the police know. <coughs> they know it's a medical emergency. They know these people have to get to the hospital. But you can't call EMS and say, okay, you take care of them. EMS will do that. They'll say, you have to restrain them so we can take them to the hospital. And so the police try to talk them down, and sometimes it works, many times it doesn't, and then they get into a struggle. And the longer they struggle, the worse it is and the greater probability that death will occur. When you've got a case that appears to be excited delirium, whether it's drugs or whether it's... Uh, psychiatric, get them to the hospital immediately.